Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna be interviewing a client of Torify. This is Nate from True Blue Painting. He's phenomenal, he's excellent, and I want you to hear his experience with Facebook ads, what he's done to get the absolute most out of them, and how our services have helped them accomplish those goals and are continuing to help him and his company into the future. Let's dive in. So, you know, this is my second company. We've talked about this a lot. So, you know, working with you is a whole new thing for me, uh, just from the ground up, because, you know, the first company I did, we just did word of mouth, like I know a lot of painters do. I never thought Facebook ads were a good idea. I've heard a lot of bad things about them. You know, I mean, if you search YouTube, you'll see a lot of criticism of Facebook ads. But then a lot of times those are just people trying to sell you a different kind of ad, right? Um, and so, you know, I'll just wait for your questioning, but you know, the, the big picture is just that it was a little worrisome, you know, we had to put in something like 30 bucks a day is kind of a lot for me, you know, when you're not paying anything and you, you see the money start coming out and you're not seeing a ton of results right off the bat. Uh, are there just maybe not the exact results you're looking for? It's easy to get frustrated. Um, but I do want to want to say that I think a lot of that is, you know, my lead management was a problem. You know, I mean, from the very beginning of us starting, I was taking too long to call people back. When we talked about that, we kind of changed my approach. Uh, it changed everything. And then, um, yeah, that's it. I, I don't want to take the floor too much, Caleb. I mean, you can just, oh, and, oh, let me just say where we are right now is, you know, we, I want to talk about this later in the, in the talk, but, um, you know, we were just kind of at a point where it was like, you know, you were getting me leads. And if, if we couldn't make it work, it might not be good for us to work together. And I think that was a clicking moment for me working with you because mm -hmm. you just don't hear that from people um, in the trades. You don't hear it from marketers. And it just really spoke to me as far as you being really, you really cared about results. I mean, you weren't just trying to get another client. You want to make sure this was working. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy to say that you pushed me to stay another month when I was trying to back out. And uh, thank God for that, because the very first day on my third month, I got two awesome leads. I'm starting one of those jobs tomorrow. It's a $25,000 job now, and we're adding a few things. Awesome. And the crew that's producing it actually came from your, your ads as well. So that's it's just great. I'm glad we stuck with it. Awesome. I know that this 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 question is is kind of a general one, but I, I do want to give you the floor here. How just how has your experience been, you know, working so far? We're at, we're at about, you know, uh, at about month four here. Uh, how has yeah. the, the experience been so far? Terrific. Even with uh, the ups and downs with uh, the lead flow, I mean, it was a lot of clarity. The quality of the uh, the creative was way better than I could do. I mean, I, I kind of had to humble myself because I, I thought, you know, I can make ads, you know, it's not hard. Everyone that I put together, I thought it was great and they just did not perform, you know? So if it was me out there thinking, you know, let me save a retainer cost with you or let me not work with somebody, then those would have been my leaders and they were they were really trashly uh, uh, created, you know, <laughs> I, I see it. So that, that was huge. And I think what a lot of the, um, I think what a lot of you bring to the table, Caleb, is uh, the perspective shifts. You know, I think that's a lot of what I've gotten from you is just, now I actually believe I can take action I can turn leads on and actually book work. And even though that sounds basic, it was a whole new thing for me. Just just so that like, you know, every, everybody understands what have the tangible results been? You know, how many jobs have you gotten? How much in sales has that brought you so far? Okay. So, um, well, you actually complimented me because you said, oh, you've uh, estimated 40,000 this week. Yeah. I th And those are pretty good. I think we're going to close on those, but you know, you're going to, you're going to kick me when I tell you this, but, uh, I, I just could not find the time to get two of them out. So I actually have two more out. Now I did give them paper estimates mm -hmm. telling them that, you know, in a couple days, I'm going to get them a actual ver like an actual typed copy. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, that is a problem for me because I mean, obviously if I got them right out, just like calling people back, I know that's going to help my close rate. Um, I didn't forget your question though. You asked kind of, uh, what I'm, you know, kind of estimating and bringing in. So the first month, we actually got a pretty decent job. You know, we got a, uh, it was just a $4,000 interior, produced it pretty well. Um, mm. After that, hit a dry spell, you know, leads are still coming in. I think if I would have stayed on them way more, I, I would have been great. I actually had a weird idea that calling people so soon almost seems a little desperate. And that, whoa, that was wrong. Like that was big time <laughs> wrong. 
<laughs> and, and you help me out with that a lot, kind of seeing that, because I've never had a person say he called me too fast, right? Yeah. Uh, but I have had people block my number before I ever get the chance to talk to them because it took too long, right? Yeah. Um, so as of right now, you know, what we have booked with you is, um, I guess, around 32,000. Okay. But I don't think that represents wh what we're really doing, because I think, you know, with what we have right now, we're really... Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's more like 40 because we have a cabinet job we booked with you two that we're waiting to start. Okay. Okay. So about, about 40,000. Too long of an answer. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to. No, that. no, not at, not at all. Um, so 40,000 booked. And then I was looking in your drip jobs account. It looks like there's still about 130 or so under the maybe category. Is that, is that correct? That's exactly right. And I have a couple more, like I said, I need to add that are in the maybe probably category that I just need to get done. So I'll do that tonight. Okay. Um, would it be okay if, I mean, I know you have a time situation too, but could I just tell you a little bit about something I actually thought about when you asked me to do this and I wanted to share it with you? Oh, of uh, course. Is it okay? I'll, I could keep it under a minute and a half probably. <laughs> no, so, no. Uh, take, as, take as long as you need. Well, okay. So one of the reasons I was really excited to do this with you is because uh, you really remind me of my mentor. And I, I don't want to put his name out there. You can pro People watching this can probably read between the lines and find out who he is. If anybody wants to know, I will, uh, but he never gave me his permission, so I don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. But um, he talks about ethics. He talks about accountability. Um, he talks about really being honest, putting your clients first. Uh, something I saw from you. And when, I mean, if people want to see that contrast, I mean, just go onto Facebook and get into a painting group, any painting group out there. And I don't mean to trash the guys, but it's just the most toxic type of attitudes towards clients you see in there. It's just, if, you, if you're on those, I had to get rid of all of them. I couldn't follow any more Facebook painting pages. I, I, I follow you and um, my mentor out in uh, uh, Fort Collins, Colorado. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Um, so, because I don't want to get into this like mindset where a lot of contractors are just bitter, run down. It's just a downward spiral. I want to be very careful about who I open my, my mind up to. Mm -hmm. And um, I would say that, you know, as long as you want me as a client, I want to work with you because I love the, the, the vibe you bring to this, which is very high class people first, um, just like with like doing it right, like the right level of professionalism. Well, thank you, Nate. That, that, that really means a lot. And I'll express that to, you know, Jack and the rest of the team here as well to give them that compliment as well. Yeah, um, of course. Yeah. I mean, I, your, your whole team seems really great, Caleb. I mean, it, it just it speaks to, you know, your team building. And I, I'm just excited to see where you go with this because I feel very well served. I really do. Well, thank you. Um, would you say would you say that working together, you know, having Facebook ads, a consistent source of leads there, has this affected your personal life at all? 100 percent. 100 percent. I mean, it's it's the big it. Well, I mean. <laughs> Okay, integrity is number one because I'm actually operating with integrity now because the course that I was with before talks about doing this. You know, this is part of the building blocks of it. But me skipping over this step thinking I didn't need this, I'm not actually like holistically going into this business. I'm, I'm kind of like hodgepodging it. I'm shortchanging myself in some areas thinking I'm going to save money down the road. It's all a big misconception. Like this is, uh, this is these are dollars you have to spend. I've just committed myself to it. I don't think any more of like, oh, three days went by. I just spent another, you know, ninety dollars. It's like, no. I mean, like th that's that's a that's a bill just like my truck's a bill. It's a bill just like my subcontractors are a bill. It's a necessary mm -hmm. expense that must be done. And I'll say not only that, it took away the limiting feeling. Like working before you, even if I'm getting leads and I have my schedule booked. It was one job after the next, and there's a ceiling there. And you can't really develop a good subcontracting relationship with people if they don't know that they have their month booked. They're not really that like excited to be loyal to you if they don't know if you have work next week. Um, so just, yeah, it, it's just knowing that like this is an investment to make and not like an expense, an investment rather than a cost has been my main shift, and it's great. Do you think that our services have brought you more value than we charge. Most definitely. I mean, you can measure that and just say it. it, it that's not even my opinion of use you have. I mean, dollar for dollar, of course. 
Let's and see you know what? Here. Actually, I think, you know, our, our dream pie in the sky, what was it, Caleb? I mean, we were always shooting for 10%. I mean, we want to be 10% and below. That's our marketing. Me without paying a PM yet or a salesman, I can afford to pay, you know, a little more just in this stage. But right now, I think we stuck with it. And I think we're actually in the nine percentage after this this job and then our cabinet job closes or finishes. Let me do a quick calculation here just to confirm sure. that. Um, I was in a different ad account. Do you know offhand how much money we spent on ads total? Let me pull it up. Well, I think our budget was something around 900 a month, maybe a little more. <clears throat> you said this is our fourth month. Is this our fourth or is it our third? I think I think we're in the middle. It's like 3.5. Uh, is it really? Okay. Okay, so overall, uh, we have spent three thousand two hundred dollars on on ads, uh, okay. including our management fees. That brings us to around, uh, let's say, about five thousand uh, dollars okay. overall so far. Uh, at forty thousand dollars in booked jobs, you know, some of those are not one hundred percent complete yet, but you know, they're booked on the calendar. And some of them are complete. Is that correct? Yes. And I'm not trying to derail you, but I mean, even like, even if they don't work out, they were still sellable, good jobs. So it, it's still, you know, it's, I'm still, I'm still getting in front of really good clients. Yeah. And, and by the way, there's others that I do believe we're still going to close. Others that are like just older leads that have, that you're, you're following up on and stuff. Oh no. Like people that I actually have on my tickler file. Do you, do you know what I mean when I say tickler file? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Like people that have actually said like, okay, we have to do this job, this job, and then we'd like to bring you in and we'll kind of figure it out at that point. Not guaranteed, but yeah, I, I've got a lot of those that I, I do believe are going to are gonna drop. Okay. How much, how much of this, and this is kind of, you know, something that you can kind of help educate everybody else on. How much mm -hmm. of this would you say is, you know, getting the leads in and how much is like the lead management? Like, what, is it a 50, 50? Like what's more important there? Well, I mean, you're, I mean, I, I don't want to put too much a blunt point on it, but like you do get bad leads. Like you're going to get a couple people that you're going to call them. And it's like, I think, I think one of them just like said, Hey, I, I, I was going to call you, but I, I'm guessing this is going to be like more than $500. And I was like, yeah, probably. What do you need to get done? He was like, my house and then he cursed at me and hung up and i'm like okay that's a bad lead but that's yeah. one in that's one in that's one in 20. i mean like it, uh it's you probably get i think what i've gotten and man that let me not exaggerate here i think it's been it's been major majority good leads and not great management in the beginning now it's this like it's the same quality maybe a little better leads way better management i mean yesterday i wanted five estimates five estimates that's awesome. I mean, before I talk to you, like, can we can we book four a week? You know, I did five yeah. yesterday, and I that's, did many before that. I mean, um, that's amazing. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, and it's just, yeah, it's just like, um, it, it's just like uh, I, I just kind of feel like we're getting in stages. You know, it's like I'm getting better at managing these type of leads. And one thing I want to put for people out there as well, a shift that I think you have to make uh, in your mindset is that if you are getting referral leads. That is a different lead. That That is a different client. I mean, if someone's friend said that you were a good painter and they like you, there's no reason you shouldn't book that job. I mean, those should be 100% books. Uh, that's what my mentor actually says too. So if you're out there and you're thinking, I want to try out Facebook leads, just don't run into the trap of thinking these are going to be the same kind of leads as my hometown guy down the street referred me leads. You have to have a lead. Uh, you have to have a sales process. You have to have a real... It's a professional sales process out there, but I don't think it needs to be like too crazy. It, you just have to do a little bit to be like the standout. How did you, and I wasn't even doing that at first, you know, I was just like, drop off. So, so how did you kind of develop that sales process? Through the, through the program I'm in right now. So through the program I take, like the mentorship class through the guy in Colorado, um, you know, like I said, he's just terrific. I mean, he just, the whole thing is just based on client first, whereas before I'm thinking me first, I'm thinking, let me book this job. He's saying, don't think about that. You're all about the client. Don't worry about making the sale. While you're running the sales process, you know, you, you keep it. And I, if you ever want to do a follow-up video or something, like you and I have talked about, Caleb, I mean, yeah. we're not going to 
let divulge anyone's IP. We respect everyone's products, but there are professionalism type of universals that this guy talks about. And I would be happy to share that. I think yeah. if they would help anybody because it, it changes everything. I mean, what, I'm sorry, I'm talking a lot, man. I'll, I'll be quiet now, but it's like, <laughs> no, no, I'm going to be, I, th- I think it's people, at least maybe it was just me. You have to like hit that switch that turns on. It's like, Oh yeah. What I do actually determines what I get versus like, I'm just going to float through this industry like I was doing before with my referrals. Like, no, if I actually have to do a process, if I expect to get results and it sounds stupid, it sounds ridiculous, but it's true. And I just am like starting to like wake up to that idea after, 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 you know, a seven year paint career. (laughs) Um, so when we kind of started all this, um, like, like what kind of made you make the jump? How did you know it was the right time to do this? Because I just loved your approach. I found you on YouTube. I, I thought you just seemed very sharp and professional. And then you were kind enough to do kind of uh, just uh, individual meetings with me. You'd meet with me, um, uh, you know, and it just like, you know, obviously we paid for that and all that, which I was happy to pay. And every time I met with you, I talked to my wife at the time and I said, I am so happy I spent that money like that. That was a, that hour was incredible. Like now I know what I'm doing. I mean, I, people say Facebook ads are simple. I mean, I don't think they're simple. I think you need a coach and somebody to guide you through it. I, I could not do it myself. And I'm not the smartest guy, but you'd think I, it would it'd be simple, you know, and it really wasn't for me. Do you have any, so if there's kind of somebody that's on the fence, maybe they're watching this video, they're like, oh, should I, you know, start, start running ads? Should I do this on my own? Should I hire, you know, Torify? Like what, what would you say to that person? Well, here's my, here's my honest answer for you, Caleb. I would mm-hmm. say if you are out, if you're just starting out and you have no money, like you have no money, but you want to get into painting, but probably hold off just a little while because I think it could really ruin your perception if you have, because I, I do believe that you should probably be able to just invest a couple, like maybe a month or two without really expecting a lot. You know, I might be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, but I would suggest that person at least have some kind of cushion, a cushion and a sale and, and a proven process that they can use <laughs> so that they're maximizing what they're spending. But once you can spend it, I mean, I would say the first chance you can get your your dollar in, in, in into ads, you know, after you take care of your bills and your subs are paid and you're paying your tithes, if if you like your next dollar should be your your marketing dollar. And I don't mean by yourself. I mean, with somebody like, well, with you, really. I mean, because otherwise I think I would have just been throwing money away. Is there, you know, we're at this point right now where. Uh, and again, stop me if this is totally wrong or or at least even a little bit wrong. Um, sure. You know, you're feeling the heat of the ads. You're, you know, you're busy. Like you said, five estimates. Was that yesterday or today? Yesterday. Yesterday. Like, yeah. where do we like, what What are we going to do from here? What do you want to do moving forward from here? Okay. Um, well, I'm going to be really pushing team building. You know, uh, the course I'm in, if you're aggressive, we're looking at about a three month trajectory to really get kind of past where I am of just like, like kind of remastering all the basics. And mm-hmm. then we're getting into team building. So where I'm trying to go with you is just to scale, man. Like just to, um, you know, get my team in place, get my project manager in place, get my salesman in place. And then just, I mean, what we're, what we're putting into this, um, I, I'm looking at doubling it. I'm looking at going farther than that. I'm looking at talking to you about some of the other services we, we talked about with maybe appointment mm-hmm. setting. That seems very cool. Yeah. Um, and then I want to mention some other thing too, your, 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 your tailored approach to like issues I was having was so great. I mean, when I wasn't getting like responsive enough, I mean, you set up a, I don't even know how you did it. You set up like a separate channel. So now I just get pinged right to my text messages. And I mean, that's just so easy. I just call them right there. You know, it's, yeah. it's the easiest way I've done it. And I, and I've used paint scout. I've used home advisor. Please, that's, I just had a horrible flashback. I never want to use them again. <laughs> They're terrible. <laughs> They're horrible. Uh, Craft Jack, I've used them all. And I just, uh, this is, I mean, it's, it's a whole different experience. It's, I can't even compare it. Well, you know, I don't want this to just be like, you know, us hyping up Torify, you know, what, what recommendations do you have for us? You know, what could we have done better here to make, you know, make, 
helped you get better results or, you know, was there anything that you thought we dropped the ball on? If, uh, if, if people that knew me, like my crew and stuff heard you say that they would have laughed because, um, I'm not a flatterer, Caleb. I, I am a, I don't want to be a jerk to people, but I'm the first one to call out a problem. And mm-hmm. if, uh, if I thought there was something to call out, I would call it out. I, I would say this. It seems very obvious that you're not going to be here in a couple of years because I can see, like, I, I can just see that, like, you're improving. But, or I, I, can just, I can just see your dedication. And I just know where that kind of dedication leads to when it's sustained. And I just am excited to see that on your end. But this is no kind of flattery call. I, I'm not being paid to be here. You know, you didn't force me to be here. I actually jumped at the chance uh, because this is just kind of the stuff I tell you on a regular calls. I, I, I think I, here's what I would just say to you. I don't know. I'll tell you if I think of something, but just my advice to you is don't let that make you get lax, you know, keep, keep your foot on the gas, but I don't really have a criticism for you. Well, I mean, you're getting me, you're getting me leads in the teens right now. Right. Aren't we looking at like $18 leads right now? Yeah. Uh, so, uh, it, yeah, we're, we're at about 18 bucks a lead right now in Texas, uh, which is, which is pretty good. Cause at yeah. the beginning we were at like, you know, 35, 40 bucks, which 35, 40, that's still pretty darn good. Cause that's like the average. Uh, yeah. And that's what I want to say too. I, I mean like over promise to people, cause we were paying $40 leads and like $40 leads. If I was managing them well, is still good. I'm fine. I mean, you're paying, you're paying 200 bucks for a home advisor lead sometimes. Yeah. Okay. Well, I hope this wasn't too sappy, Caleb. I really meant every word of it. I, uh, <laughs> no, I not really at all. About your I, and really, I, I, I think the, the the real thing that made me totally bought into Torify is just when you gave me kind of like a come to Jesus talk about like, look, can't do much more, man. I mean, if, if this isn't working, like we probably just need to go our separate ways. And I mean, that, that did sting me because I was like, man, I'm just, I guess I'm just not really li- uh, living up to what's going on here. But it really told me a lot about your character. And it just made me think like, yeah, this is the right place to be. Is that, that's when we had the lead management talk? Yeah. Yeah. That's when we had that talk. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and obviously, you know, th- this is a partnership here. So like, <laughs> we yeah. like you can manage the leads phenomenal, but if we give you crappy leads, then there's nothing else you can do, you know, and, and, and vice versa. You know, we, we both work together to be successful and that's, that's really yeah. what I want, what I want. Um, yeah. And then, uh, this is just a little tail end of that dealing with these managing, like managing leads. If you're getting leads, uh, just as referrals, a lot of times people are tempted just to make it real simple and easy. Like I would tell people even on these Facebook leads, like, Hey, let's do a Facebook call. Like, let's do a call, like video chat because that works a lot of time for other people. Don't do that stuff with your Facebook leads. Like go, go meet these people, go, go shake their hand. Like let them see you and like in their home. Yeah, they yeah. don't know you. So like you really, that'd be my biggest message. If you're used to the referrals, you got to understand Facebook leads are a different animal, but they do work if you work them. That's funny. That's, that's an Alex Ramosi quote right there. They work as good Is it as really? Work. Yes, well, exactly about paid that. ads. Yeah. Look, I don't want to, I don't want to reveal too much about myself, but that's actually an AA quote as well. <laughs> really? I didn't know that. Yeah. I don't drink anymore, but yeah, that's a good well, thing. I, I, um, no, that's yeah, no. Uh, no devil's juice for you, huh? <laughs> not good for you. No, it's bad stuff. Yeah, bad Jesus stuff. Jesus drank it. I don't really understand that. I got to figure that out sometime, but I just know I'm not supposed to. Well, th- did he drink it or did he just give it to his, his disciples there? Well, he did say on one of his passages that the son of man came eating and drinking and you called him a demon. So I don't know. Did he mean drinking wine? I don't know. Uh, but I just know for all, for me and I think for a lot of uh, other guys in the trades, man, you see alcohol, that's uh, that's one of the big downfalls of guys like us, you know, of guys in my trade. A lot of alcoholism. It's a, not a good thing. I say, if you could avoid that, too. I know we're not we're supposed to talk about leads, but <laughs> if you can stay personally accountable to yourself, stay straight, stay ethical. I mean, that's really what it's all about. And it's hard to do that if you're drunk. Yeah, it is. It is hard to do that when you drink. That, that's for sure. Yeah. 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 No offense to anybody out there. There's probably a lot more responsible guys out there than me, but I can't do it. Yeah, I, I personally, I, you know, I, I've met people just like that, that are like really like high functioning, but also like they, you know, abuse a lot of substances and stuff. And yeah, it, I, I guess I was me. blessed with I don't the know. ability to hide anything. I can't hide like, anything. So it's, yeah. I, you know, I, uh, I don't know. I mean, yeah, like I, I'll have the occasional drink, you know, at, at dinner or something, but like, you know, whatever. I was young once, you know, we all were, but, uh, 
I just personally like when it comes to my work and stuff like that, I can't perform at my best. Simple as that, you know? No, no. You know. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm excited, man. I mean, I've got, I've got three estimates to get out tonight. This is a new thing for me. I mean, since starting this new company and it was twiddling my thumbs for a long time and now I'm busy, which is great. But now we need to break That's through. Awesome. We need to go to the next yeah. level. Yeah, we need to scale. Yeah. Busy, uh, you know, busy people aren't broke. No. It's, it's been very nice. It's been very nice. I mean, I would say, I know, I know this is a business thing, but I mean, deeply, I, I honestly feel very well taken care of. Like, like, I feel like I'm dealing with a friend. I feel like I'm being taken care of by someone that really cares. And that is just not a normal thing in, in marketing, you know? Good. That makes me really happy. You know, I want, I, I want to see you succeeding, you know? And uh, I, I'm, I'm happy to call you my friend. I'm proud to call you my friend. And I'm glad, you know, we are where we are. Well, let's keep going. Let's push yes, it, sir. you know? It's um, going to be a good month. This is going to be a big month. I hope I can check back in with you on this soon. That'd be fun. I think, uh, so I don't have any more questions, and you got to get those quotes out. <laughs> I do. I do. You have to get All those right. quotes out. All right, um, thank you, Nate. It was a pleasure. I really appreciate you doing this. You know, thank you for being honest, speaking from the heart. And, uh, you know, uh, if you think of any criticism, you know, let me know, because we're always looking to improve. I'll shoot you a text. Thanks, buddy. All right, Nate. Thank you, sir.